This video is going to show you what your code should be able to do when you successfully complete the third deliverable. As you'll recall, in the first deliverable, you were capturing data from your hands-free leap motion device and then drawing a circle on the screen in two dimensions. In the second deliverable, you were going from 2D to 3D. Now you're capturing the same data, but drawing all of the uh, bones in your hand and their inferred positions in three dimensions. In this third deliverable, you're now going to be recording gesture data, and then a second Python program is going to play back those recorded gestures. Here's how it works. Okay, as before, we're capturing, uh, we're capturing data in 3D and drawing it to the screen. You'll see now that the hand is drawn in green. I'm now going to use my other hand. Since I'm right-handed, it's going to be my left hand. So my, I'm going to use my right hand to indicate gestures, and then I'm going to wave my left hand into the screen and back out again. You'll notice that the hand turns red and then turns green again. When the hand turns red, that indicates that I'm recording that gesture. And when my hand moves back out of frame, I end the recording. Every time I enter and leave the frame, I'm recording another gesture. You can see in the top right window here that the terminal has printed out that I've saved out to a file six different gestures. So I can now stop this program. In my case, I do that by clicking Control C. And now I go to the bottom right window, and now I'm going to run the second Python program. And this Python program, when it runs, will read in those six gestures from six different files I've saved out, and will play back each of those six gestures uh, in turn. You can see that it's counting off those gestures as it displays them. It shows each one for about half a second and then goes on to the next one and shows these gestures in a continuous loop.